Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time. Welcome to my time with Tony. Got a little extra special video for you today. I get asked a lot during my streams about my mods and how to edit them if necessary because I usually change the capacities uh, on most of my trailers, various different edits. So I want to show you quickly how I do it. It's my method. There's many videos out there that already do this. They are good videos. Go watch them. This is how I do it. I've made it as simple as my as I can for myself. As we say, so easy. Tony Miff can do it. Hopefully this helps a couple of you out there. Try it this way. If you don't like it, like I said, there's many other videos out there. But I want to show you how I do it real quick. So let's get over there and show you real quick. Now I use the SG Mod Folder Switcher. I find it to be very simple. I'll include a link to that in the description. But this is how I do it. As you see in my hard drive D, I have a folder called FS22 Mods. And these are all my folders. It is a lot. Now, a lot of these are just maps. You have, you know, Old Stream. You have Nebraska, uh, Morris, Alberta, um, Maple. A lot of these are that. But I also have my mods broken down into, say, plows. So here's all the plows that I have. If I need a plow for a map, I don't have to search through, you know, 300, 400 different mods. I just go to plows and I pick which plow I want. Now, I've broken these down quite a bit. You can do it however you want. Again, this works for me. Um, for example, we have an animals folder. I have them broken down to chickens, cows, pigs, and sheep. And then just various other stuff that needs to encompasses all of them. Again, however you do it is fine for you. What I want to show you is just editing a capacity real quick on a mod. Because this is the question I get most often. So this is the folder I use for mod time. It doesn't have everything in it, just enough to get me to do what I need to do. But this is the trailer we want to we want to use. This Myler Kipper. Again, this is how I do it. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll try and answer them. But this is very simple. You double click on this, open it up. Now I would say 60 to 75 percent of the mods are like this. Some of them will have a folder like this. It says XML, and those folders are in there. Again, this one does not. The first one here is your, your mod description. This is not how we normally open this, but this is just the description of what's in the um, in the mod. You can change this. Sometimes it's necessary to make it better. You want to change the name to you know what it appears in the store to an edit so you know what's yours. You can do that there. But this is just about capacity, something simple to show you guys. This is the one we want. Now you're going to need Notepad++ for this. That's the one I use. I'm... I think there's other programs out there, but Notepad++ is the easiest for me. So all I do is I click on this, I drag it to my desktop. You see it popped up up here. So now all we do is right click, edit with Notepad++, and now it pops up and it is editable. Now remember, it's editable, you can mess this up. But it's on the desktop, it's not affecting anything right now. It will later, but if you mess this up, you can just delete this, throw it in the recycle bin, copy it over, and redo it. So for this one, we want to just edit the capacity, and we're going to look and the different things. This is what your basic data is, what it's called, um, how much it is, you know, the lifetime hours, I guess, your brand, and your category. So now you have the file names that it goes to. A lot of these things you will not mess with. This is the wheel options. You don't need to mess with any of those. Just for this beginner noob video, you have your attacher joints, your hoses, all that stuff is good. The license plates, we don't have to mess with any of that. We just scroll down the lights. All that's not affecting us. Animations can get, you can mess with these at some point for different mods, but for now, we're not going to show it. What you want to get down to is the fill units here. And you'll see, I've already edited this one to a million liters. The fill type category is bulk. And update mass equals false here is at the end. That is important. We'll get to that in a second. So if I want to change this, make it more realistic from a million to say 10,000, all I have to do is click on a section. You'll see it in there. I delete two zeros. Now we have 10,000. Click off it. Your capacity is now went from a million to 10,000 liters. Bulk, you can change this. This will basically carry everything now. You can 
type in whatever you want in here as long as it is tied back to a giant's category. Um, if you just want to carry um, grapes, it could be field type category grapes. Now it's in caps. Usually there are files to go back and recognize what the different categories are. You can find those out. They are available on the internet as well. But for now, bulk is everything. Now, when we go from 10,000, let's just pretend that's what it was, to a million, that adds a lot of weight to your trailer and it will not operate properly. That's why this update mass equals false is very important. Your mass is going to stay the same as what it was with the original capacity, the 10,000. If you don't put this in, you're going to not be able to pull your trailer when you get it filled up. So it's very important to put that in. Update mass equals in false in quotation marks. That is important. So now that we have a million liters, we have this in false. That's all you have to do to change it. You just edited your capacity. Now you'll want to click, come up here, click save and you're done. Now there's other things in this, as you can see, different um, uh, different values, different fill units. Don't need to mess with any of this. The only things you can mess with here is if you come down to dischargeable, the empty speed of 6200, I can make this empty very fast and it would be the same process. I click on that. Instead of 6200, it's now 62,000, all by adding a zero. We're not gonna do that. We don't need to, it's fast as it is. But if you want it to un unload fast, that's how you do that there. Again, all this is other stuff that is very important. I don't mess with it, the tip sides, the all that stuff. Um, your base materials is, this is all how it looks. Your different colors. Again, if you wanted to add a color in here, this is where you would start putting that stuff in. And then your i3d files, that's it. So we've saved this. We're done with it. We've edited it to a million. We've put update mass equals false. If we wanted to change the empty speed, we did. We just X out of it. It's saved. So now all we do is go back to this file and drag it back into this. Now it's copy, replace, or don't copy. We want to copy and replace. And you're done. That is it. Now that trailer holds a million liters. Simple, easy capacity fix. Now we would put this zipped file in whatever folder we wanted for the SGA mod folder switcher. That's it. You're done. Simple as that to update capacities, unloading speeds, and bulk. You know, you could make grass, you could make it just grain, anything you want, as long as it ties back to the list of available categories that Giants has put in, or the map maker for that matter. Simple as that. That's how you edit capacities. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you want me to do more videos showing you how I do things, again, this is just my version of how I do things, simple and fast. Let me know down below. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time. Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time!